Hey, White Oak Baptist. Hope you're having a great uh, day so far. Um, it is Wednesday, April the 1st, 2020. Uh, I just want to come to you. Uh, I've been doing some study out of uh, the Gospel of Mark in my own personal study. And uh, just wanted to give a couple words of encouragement and uh, share something from a book that I'm reading uh, this month. Um, but the words um, out of the Gospel of Mark, uh, which is probably my favorite book of uh, Scripture, specifically the, even the New Testament. Uh, in chapter 1, Mark um, begins to write about uh, the ministry of Jesus, his, his going into ministry, his, um, his, his calling of his disciples. And in uh, chapter 1, starting in verse 16, uh, Mark writes these words. As he passed alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, Simon's brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Follow me, Jesus told them, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. The, the words, the two words, follow me, are, are very interesting to me. Because that is the call that Jesus had to his disciples. And it is the call that he makes to every single one of us who follow after him. The, the call comes from the Holy Spirit to follow me. And, and then the commandment to what they were going to become, that they were moving from fisher, uh, fishermen um, to fishers of people. And that is what we're called to do, is to be fishers of people. As we follow after Jesus, as we go into um, each day, as we live our lives, we are to, to follow him and we are to be fishers of people. I'm reading a book right now um, called The Gospel Comes with a House Key. It's written by Rosaria Butterfield. And it's just, it's a great book. And, and her testimony is, is a great testimony. And you can go into YouTube um, and, and listen to it or uh, find her testimony in multiple other places. Um, but it's just a great testimony of the gospel. Uh, but in chapter 2, she, she writes these a couple of things that I, I want to read to you. And I just want to kind of think about for just, just a moment. On page 35, she, she writes these words. The word hus hospitality um, approximates um, the Greek word philoxene, I can't say that, uh, which means love of the stranger. Instead of feeling sidelined by the sucker punches of post-Christianity, Christians are called to practice radically ordinary hospitality, to renew their resolve in Christ. Too many of us are sidelined by fears. We fear that people will we fear we fear that people will hurt us. We fear that people will negatively influence our children. We fear that we do we don't we do not even understand the language of this new world, least of all its people. We long for days gone by. Our sentiment our sentiment is makes us stupid. We need to snap ourselves out of this self-pitying reverie. The best days are ahead. Jesus advances from the front of the line. Sorry for the stuttering there, but it's just, um, it's early and, um, yeah. Uh, what a true statement. The, the one sentence that really got to me is this. Too many of us are sidelined by fears. And then she goes through and, and she talks about things that, that, we, we fear and and here's my fear um, I think she's right we, we're afraid of all kinds of things and because of that we really don't practice biblical um, hospitality or community she goes on to say on the next page this she goes but radically ordinary Christian hospitality must be rooted and steeped in grace church membership private prayer, fasting, solitude, repentance, Bible reading, scripture memory, and worshipful singing. I think she's right. 
I think that is biblical hospitality, and that is what the ordinary Christian life should look like. It's the command to, to follow me and to do as, as, as I do. And so Jesus calls us to that. And when we do that, we will become fishers of people. And that can happen even in the midst of this, um, this, this pandemic and being quarantined at home. And so I want to I want to encourage all of us just to um, watch what we say on social media uh, to be Christians of, of hospitable um, lives um, as we post things, think things, say things, respond to things, because the world is watching, and the world needs the church now more than ever. And so, uh, know from my heart, um, from the heart of of uh, Pastor Tony and, and Pastor David, um, that that we want to be the people that God has called us to be. So I hope that this Wednesday is a is a good day and a great day for you. Um, so um, thank you. Uh, let me pray for you, and then let's head out. Father, thank you um, for our church body, for the people that um, are called into the Chattanooga area to. Uh, minister and to do the work of the gospel. Help us to be followers of you. Help us to, to be fishers of people. And Father, I pray today um, for, for your guidance and your wisdom and your protection. And so, Father, uh, take us and use us. Thank you for uh, the ability to use social media in, in this uh, time. And I pray that you would build your church through this. For it's in Christ's name, amen. Have a great day, church.